you could find a treasure worth millions. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button to become part of the DTR family and that little bell icon so that you are notified when we post new videos. Number 13, Grooville Horde. In June 2012, two metal detectorists, Reg Mead and Richard Miles, were on a search of some valuable treasure. While surveying the Grooville area, one of the 12 parishes in East Jersey, the pair came across a hoard which consisted of around 70,000 coins. These coins belonged to the Curiosolite tribe from around 50 to 60 BC. Mead and Miles were searching for this extremely valuable hoard since the early 1980s. In addition to jewelry and coins, the hoard included large quantities of Iron Age and Roman pottery items. An expert on Celtic coins has suggested that this hoard might be somewhere around 7 million euro to 14 million euro in value. If you wish to see these marvelous coins, then you have to visit the La Hogue by Museum in Grauville, Jersey. Number 12, the Bacterian Gold. Another one of the most expensive discoveries in the history of the world was made at Tilya Tepe or the Golden Hill in Jawsdwan province in Afghanistan. In 1978, a Russian archaeologist, Viktor Sirondati, accompanied by his team, discovered 21,000 pieces of Bactrian gold. The hoard dated back to around the 1st century BCE. It had a wide variety of gold necklaces, belts, medallions, and crowns. Unfortunately, during wartime, this precious terror went missing. It was later found in 2003. Some of these coins had references to Indian and Buddhist culture. As per the orders of Mohammad Najibullah, ex-president of Afghanistan, the Bactrian gold was kept at Central Bank of Afghanistan in an underground vault. The keys to this vault were only made available to five trustworthy individuals. 11. Derry Naflin Horde In February 1980, in Derry Naflin in the town of Lurgo, a father-son duo stumbled upon a significant hoard. It was an early church treasure which included Derry Nafalan chalice, a small plate, and a few other items. Interestingly, the finders, who were entitled to a reward, made a hard and long fight before getting what they deserved. Initially, the duo reported the treasure to an archaeologist who recommended them to take the hoard to the National Museum of Ireland. After several rulings by the High Court in late 1987, Michael Webb and his son received an award of 50,000 euro. The hoard belonged to the 8th or 9th century. It is thought that the hoard was hidden back in the 10th or 12th century because of the Viking raids. Number 10. The Panagurishti Treasure Three brothers named Pavel, Petko, and Mikhail Dikov are credited for the remarkable discovery of Panagurishti Treasure. The siblings worked at a tile factory when in December 1949, they made this accidental discovery. The treasure was created back in 400 BC to 300 BC by the Indo-European tribes or the Trashian. Weighing around 60 kilograms, the treasure included a fiel, an amorpha, three anikoya, and four ritons. A fiel is a shallow metallic bowl, an amphora is a container, an oinokoya is a wine jug, and a riton is a conical container used for storing and pouring fluids. All of these items were made up of 24 karat gold. Legend says that the treasure was used for ceremonies by Seuss III, who was a Trachean ruler. It was during the invasions of the 4th century that the Panagoristi treasure was kept in secrecy. 9. Staffordshire Hoard Considered as the largest hoard of Anglo-Saxon gold and silver, Staffordshire Hoard includes more than 3,500 items. The gold jewelry items had a weight of 5.1 kilograms, whereas the silver items weighed around 1.4 kilograms. The hoard dates back to 6th or 7th century. The majority of the items present in the hoard are military-related, including gold swords, crosses, and sword pommels. Interestingly, there was a small strip of gold inscribed with biblical quotations. Archaeologists link the inscription with Viking invasions. What makes this hoard so different from others is its amazing quality. From the swords to jewelry items, everything is designed with extreme detail. The initial excavation of the Staffordshire hoard took place in July 2009 by a metal detectorist in the Hammerswich area in Staffordshire. 
244 gold objects were retrieved as a result of the initial excavation. Number 8. Boot of Cortez Known as the largest golden nugget discovered to date, the Boot of Cortez is 389.4 troy ounces in terms of its weight. In 1989, an individual from Sonora, Mexico went on a mission to make a huge discovery with the help of his cheap metal detector. For days, he didn't have any luck. Eventually, he discovered what is known as the largest golden nugget in the Western Hemisphere. The name of the nugget comes from the fact that it resembles a Spanish boot. Archaeologists provide that it consists of pure gold, which makes it one of the finest golden nuggets present out there. Its rich yellow color also indicates towards its high purity. In 2004, the boot of Cortez was exhibited at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show. Number 7. The Srota Treasure Belonging to the 14th century, the Srota Treasure consisted of 3,000 silver coins, a gold crown, three decorated rings, two gold pendants, and several gold coins. In June 1985, construction workers who were working at a demolished telephone exchange building in the town of Sroda in Poland found thousands of gold and silver coins. Initially, no archaeological study was done in the area. Later, in 1988, when more artifacts were discovered, archaeologists began to work on the site and then the government planned on retrieving any missing items. King Charles IV of the House of Luxembourg was the rightful owner of this treasure. It can be viewed at the Regional Museum in Srotis, Alaska, where it is displayed publicly. A big thank you to all you guys who leave comments. For today's video, we are giving a shout out to Board Badger. Number 6. The Curedale Hoard Considered as one of the largest silver hoards that belonged to the Vikings, Kierdale Hoard included over 8,600 items. In May 1840, these items were found at the Bank of River Rubble located in Lancashire, England. At that time, construction workers who were repairing the river embankment came across this treasure. It was enclosed in a lead box, and during excavation, each worker was able to secure a coin for themselves. The Kierdale Hoard contained silver coins, jewelry, hack silver, and ingots. Today, most of it is preserved in the British Museum in London, and a smaller part of this hoard is displayed at Ashmolean Museum, Oxford. Number 5. Black Swan Project Odyssey Marine Exploration, Inc. is a Florida treasure hunting company that found and excavated around $500 million worth of coins from the ocean floor in 2007. The details of this project, named Black Swan Project, were initially kept confidential. It is one of the most controversial discoveries made in the recent decade. As soon as the hoard was discovered, it was shipped to U.S. by Odyssey, and the shipment alone cost the firm around $2.6 million. While the story was unraveling, Spanish government stepped in with its claim that the artifacts belonged to Spain and were transported on Spanish frigate Nuestra Senora de las Mercedes in 1804. This led to a lawsuit against the Odyssey, which lost the case and had to pay $1 million to the Spanish government. 4. Cesarea Sunken Treasure In 2016, two divers from Ra'ana were diving off Caesarea the coast in Israel, discovered the biggest ancient Roman treasure. As per Israel Antiquities Authority, the treasure was placed in a large sunken merchant ship. The metal anchors from the boat pointed out that the captain tried to stop the ship from getting caught in the storm. The site was further excavated by IAA divers. The treasure included bronze statues, oil lamps, and gold coins that dated back to the 11th century CE. Because these artifacts were preserved under the seabed, they were in excellent condition at the time of discovery. Currently, the treasure is prepared for conservation and is held by IAA. 3. Hand of Faith The world's largest gold nugget, aka Hand of Faith, was discovered in September 1980 by metal detectorist named Kevin Hillier. It weighed around 27 kilograms and was found in a standing position only 12 inches under the surface in Victoria, Australia. Kevin sold this unique nugget to a famous casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. He sold it for around $1 million. The Hand of Faith is currently on display at the hotel of this casino. 
The nugget is protected by glass and is constantly monitored by security cameras. It is also known to be the second largest golden nugget that is discovered in Australia. 2. The Hoxna Horde In November 1992, Eric Laws used his metal detector in order to find the largest hoard that consisted of thousands of silver and gold coins from the Roman Empire. It was located near the village of Hoxney in the Suffolk County Council, England. The value of this expensive hoard was initially calculated in 1993 by the Treasure Trove Reviewing Committee. According to this committee, the Hoxney hoard was worth 1.75 million euro. In addition to gold and silver coins, the hoard included silver spoons, pepper pots, silver locks, jewelry items, and around 25 bronze coins. This marvelous discovery can be viewed at the British Museum in London, where it is permanently displayed since 1994. Number 1. Ringlemere Cup In the Ringlemere Borough in the English County of Kent, Mr. Cliff Bradshaw made a wonderful discovery using his metal detector back in November of 2001. He found a Bronze Age vessel which later became known as Ringlemere Gold Cup. A single piece of gold was hammered in order to create the structure of the cup in 1700 to 1500 BC. Although the cup got damaged during excavation, it was still able to retain its height of 14 centimeters. According to archaeologists, the Ringlemere Cup was not placed with a dead body, but rather it was an object of religious offering. Similar shaped cups were also found from different parts of Britain. Thanks for watching. Coming up next, most mysterious ancient tomb discoveries. Expanded his tomb to 38 square miles and filling it with all the luxuries he enjoyed in life that he also wanted with him in the afterlife. That included a terracotta army to provide protection to him after his demise. King Zhang also constructed a labyrinth of secret tunnels running beneath his 200 palaces to travel safely 